from the Service Electric Studio, it's the Mike Zambelli Show. The Oldenburg football team saw their dream of winning an NCAA championship come to an end in the Elite Eight, but what a year it has been. Records falling by the wayside at the historic school out in West Allentown. We'll talk all things that are Muhlenberg football with head coach Nate Millen and a couple of his star players. But first, here's this week's edition of I've Got News. Fire Festival was billed as the cultural experience of the decade, but it actually turned out to be a massive disaster that was far from the luxurious celebrity-filled event. It was advertently the Columbia Sportswear has announced the release of its uh, uh, rain-vented cast and crew parka from the Star Wars. I could have used this over the weekend of the state uh, football finals. The Empire Strikes Back, meant to withstand the icy sub-zero conditions of the planet at Hoth, the sportswear brand seeks to satisfy Star Wars fans with a limited edition uh, uh, release of the collectible parka with the help of the updated technology. The waterproof, breathable shell incorporates the brand's Omni Heat lining and a removable fur lined hood that will keep you as warm as a Wookiee. We all know what a Wookiee is, don't we, guys? Right? Yeah. You guys are Star Wars fans. Jacket's exterior consists of a bold blue base with added security stripes on the shoulders for the increased visibility. Varying Star Wars patches uh, mark the outside of the jacket, a patch marking the geographical coordinates of the original filming location in Norway and a custo customizable nameplate that can be personal personalized. Ryan Kelly, I'm expecting to have one of those for next year's state football championships. Uh, time now to meet uh, this evening's musical guest and it is Aaron Kelly. Aaron, uh, great to see you again. Nice smile. Very happy holiday to you. Thanks, you as well. Well, uh, you've been busy. Uh, what are your uh, holiday uh, locations that you've been performing at? Um, well, I've already done a show at Chris Kennelmart. Um, well, I'm going to actually be back at Chris Kennelmart mm -hmm. December 13th, and then on the 14th I'll be at Black River Farms Winery. So I'm kind of like winding down on the Christmas shows a little bit. Do you bit. like the Christmas season? Do you like performing uh, Christmas songs? I, I do. Do you have I, a favorite? I, Mm, not, not really. The one that you, <laughs> I perform a lot of Christmas songs. Yeah, the one that you're singing at the time, huh? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. Well, what are you going to start us off with tonight? Um, I'm going to start off with Let It Snow. Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Hopefully it snows when Santa Claus comes this year. We'll talk Muhlenberg football when we return. Aaron Kelly, go ahead. to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I brought some corn for popping. Oh, the lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold But as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I'm watching it fall. Lots of people around. Christmas at all. I remember when you were here and all the fun that we had last year. 
Aaron, you're like having two different people over there to talk to your voice. How do you change your voice like that when you sing? I don't know. It kind of just <laughs> it happens. Just happens huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like having dual personalities over there. Beautiful, beautiful as always. Nate Millen joined by Michael Natkowski and Ryan Curtis. Uh, coach, first of all, congratulations. You know a little something about music and guitars. Huh? Dad was a pretty avid guy. Sure, yeah. My father uh, grew up. We had a musical family. My mother mm -hmm. played a number of instruments in the piano. And uh, my dad and I actually did a tour of the Martin Guitar Factory, and yeah. he went over and, uh, and uh -huh. bought a new guitar. And then uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't say my son Matthew is the biggest Star Wars fan. So when he watches the show tonight, he's going to be juiced up. <laughs> He'll know and what I, the Wookiees are, we're, right? Yeah, we're going to have to buy. Uh, we're going to have to buy the new parka uh, for, for him for Christmas this well, year. Like I said, I'm going to need it for the uh, state finals. It was cold. Uh, it was cold once again. Obviously, congratulations in order, Elite Eight uh, in your first year uh, taking over the program. I, I really think it's intriguing to think that, you know, these young men have experienced three head coaches. Of course, the late Mike Donnelly started everything and uh, your first year. How has this program been able to hold it together through obviously some very trying moments off the field? Sure. I think, first of all, it starts with recruiting fantastic football players uh, like these gentlemen and the guys that you'll meet this afternoon. Uh, and then... It's, it's really stayed within the family. Uh, Corey mm -hmm. Goff, our athletic director, uh, worked under Coach Donnelly uh, for a number of years, and they had a fantastic relationship working together. And then myself uh, spending some time uh, underneath Coach Donnelly for three four years. years. As, yeah, yeah, three as, years. As an offensive coordinator. Yeah, and so really that, that helps the continuity, what our guys expect out there at practice, uh, and to make sure that our daily routine uh, is, is the same and consistent. We never changed any terminology. Uh, our strength and conditioning staff has been the same. So although there has been change uh, at the helm, uh, for the most part, uh, our daily routine has been very, very consistent over the past three years. Talk about the game with uh, Mount Union. You got out to an early lead. I saw one of the quotes you made was pretty nice. Let's take a picture of that scoreboard there when we were up seven to nothing. Yeah, our guys came out ready to play. Uh, we were very experienced with going on the road. Uh, we went to Thomas Moore and, and defeated a really good Thomas Moore team that was nine hours away. Uh, we had a practice at Washington and Jefferson College. And so our guys were used to that. The routine was there set up throughout the season. It be a big help. It was awesome. And, and so we knew we'd gone on the road to face some really good teams this year. We went down the road, and, and although we lost to Johns Hopkins, we'd been down there and, and obviously um, battled against another uh, Final Four team. Uh, so our guys were ready to rock and roll from the start. We grabbed that 7 nothing lead, and, um, and I know that was the first time they'd been trailing since September. <laughs> so although uh, we were ecstatic to have the lead, part of me inside was saying maybe we should take a picture and uh, <laughs> make sure that Mount Union knows that Muhlenberg football had the lead on them. Johns Hopkins gave them a good workout as well before falling 28 to 20. The national championship game will be Mary Harden Baylor against Mount Union. That is coming up uh, uh, this weekend uh, for the national title in Division Three football. Michael Natkowski, a record setter at William Penn Charter High School, you broke the records of Matt Ryan, yes, sir. who is the current uh, quarterback at the. Atlanta. You met you met Matt Ryan. I huh? have yes. Um, going into my senior year, Matt was home for the summer for a couple mm -hmm. weeks, and uh, he just held it like a passing clinic with. Couple guys on the was team. that before or after you broke his records? Um, I think it was <laughs> after. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah what did, talk about uh, your decision to come to Muhlenberg College in Allentown's West End, and uh, what did you expect when you came here to play football and obviously uh, continue your education? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I I never had like a big ego about you know where I wanted to play. I just knew I wanted to play um, four years of college football. Um, Muhlenberg just gave me a great opportunity to play football and get a great education there, and. Um, you know, when I came in, I just, you know, wanted to play and play as hard as I could and, you know, hopefully play early and, and often, and you know, I was fortunate enough to do that. Playing early and often and winning games, you're 17-4 and four as a starter. Just describe what, you know, I talked about a little bit with Coach. Uh, Corey Goff did a great job in the one year when Mike Donnelly was taken ill, and now Nate uh, uh, Millen is the uh, permanent head coach his first year. What's it been like as the players, and why have you been able to maintain that level of excellence? Yeah, I think Coach hit it on the nail. It's just, you know, everything's been in-house. Um, um, nothing's really changed from our daily routine since I was a freshman. Um, you know, Coach Miller and I have been together for the past two years. He was the offensive coordinator when I was a freshman. He's still the offensive coordinator. Um, it just, I think, it had the to same. Help you as the quarterback, Absolutely. right? The trains, yes. you know, seamless. Uh, I mean, you've had the same offensive coordinator since you've been there, right? Which is, is it's made a big deal, I think, from freshman to sophomore year, and you know, hopefully going into the junior year, it'll be the same deal. But um, 
I think, like Coach said, just mm -hmm. hitting, hitting the same routine every, every week um, during the season and then knowing what, what we're going to get in the off season. Um, strength condition wise, I think it's just really important for us. One loss during the regular season at Mighty, Mighty Johns Hopkins. You had a chance there to, you know, you went in undefeated. They had suffered the one loss. But was there a point during this regular season that you thought as a team that, you know, hey, there's the, we, we can make a run. We get into that NCAA tournament, which wound up being an at-large bid, by mm -hmm. the way. You weren't sure you were going to get in. Right. And then you go on and you win two games in the tournament. But was there a point during the season that you thought, hey, this team's pretty capable? I think after the Franklin Marshall game, um, we came out, we played pretty well, and I think just from there we kind of had the momentum and, you know, we, we lost one, we took one at a Hopkins, but I think, you know, we played pretty well in the second half and I think just, I think throughout the year as the year went on, um, as a team, we just felt more and more comfortable and we're hoping we get a shot and, and we did and we made the most out of it. So I think we're Ryan Curtis recently voted first team uh, all foot, uh, American Football Coaches Association All-American at tight end. First of all, I congratulate you on that. Your route to Muhlenberg a little different. You taught, you started out at double, uh, 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 Division Two pace. How did it transition that you went there number one, and then how did you wind up at Muhlenberg? Um, it was a very different experience I've ha I had. Um, I didn't really see myself coming here at first, and after I went to Pace, I didn't really like what was going on, and um, I knew buddies here who knew it was a good program, good school, and I decided to give it a, a try, and it became a great fit for me. And I'm excited I came here, and as we can see, all the pieces are coming together. Uh, you were a linebacker at Pace, now you're an All-American tight end. How does that yes, work out? In high school, I played uh, <laughs> tight end, kind of, and linebacker, and I decided to play linebacker at Pace. And I decided I wanted to flip sides of the ball and go to the offense and uh, try out something new. Now, was that one of the things that they talked to you about at Muhlenberg? You're obviously at pace, and now you're looking at your options. Is that one of the things that they talked to you about? And you, did you knew, realize that, that would, you'd be presented that opportunity? Yes, I talked to uh, Coach Donnelly, and I talked to a couple of my buddies and see if, well, how the tight end position here uh, was. And I knew I had the opportunity to come in and um, give it a shot and see what I can do, and I was able to perform with it. Business administration major uh, with uh, minor in marketing, correct? Yes. Where we, now you'll have uh, you'll have one more year. You'll be back. How do you how do you continue this run? I mean, Elite Eight is pretty lofty stuff. Program had never gotten that far. Yes, I was very excited for us to get there, but I know the team that we have. Um, it's not a one-time thing for us. Mm -hmm. Now we were able to break into the Elite Eight, and now we know how to play the teams up there and how to get there. And I think that we have a good enough team next year to. Uh, make another run and possibly go for the title. This well, you time. lose only one uh, starter in terms of seniors on offense, a couple of them on the defensive side. Coach, this comes right. This is on you. This is on charter territory. You're in the middle of trying to recruit the next guys. How, has it helped or hurt? I mean, obviously, you can't be on the road as much as you want, but, boy, you walk into a recruit and say, yeah, we were in the Elite Eight this year. That's got to help. Yeah, first of all, I set the bar way too high in my first year <laughs> as coach. If, if, you know, 11 and 2, we make the NCAA playoffs next year, and we lose in the first round. I'm getting fired, and uh, and so we've got to, uh, we've got to, that, That's a lot of pressure on our guys to make sure that my family is taken care of. All right, that's really who they have to think about, um, and it, it really does. It's a really an easy selling point. Uh, number one, uh, Muhlenberg is a fantastic education. And so I, I think that is a brand name recognized uh, not only locally, but when we go into a number of high schools, they understand the quality of education that they're going to get at Muhlenberg. And then when you talk about competing for championships, um, having eight straight seasons with at least eight wins, uh, that's something uh, that a player is, is naturally intrigued by. Uh, so although we're behind the eight ball a little bit in recruiting, uh, I think it's for a really good reason uh, because we were in the NCAA playoffs. So it, it certainly has sure. uh, enhanced our reputation uh, over the past couple of weeks. 12 seniors on this year's roster. You had 15 all Centennial Conference honorees, 11 and 2 record. Uh, Talk about these 12 seniors. I mentioned three different head coaches. The I mean, just the unfortunate passing of uh, Mike Donnelly, who is really instrumental in turning this program into really a Division Three power. What, what, do, what will you remember about these 12 seniors, and what was your message to them on that field after Mount Union? I thought our seniors did a fantastic job buying into their roles. There were a number of guys who played uh, a lot during their careers, but there were also a number of guys who we knew needed to be step-up guys, and, and they did that very, very well. 
And the other one that they did is they accepted their leadership roles. Mm -hmm. Having only 12 seniors, it was critical that all of them, uh, Kyle Aprisco, who was a captain, but he was the only senior in the offensive line room. And so he burdened a lot of that. The same thing with, with other uh, potentially less heralded players. Matt Gliotta was the only senior in our running back group and did just a wonderful job uh, mentoring the young men uh, on the field and then sometimes, and more importantly, off of the football field. And so we'll remember them for the leadership roles that they were forced into um, and, and how they responded uh, mm -hmm. to those roles and, and how well that they did in those they situations. They were great leaders. Michael Nedkowski, Ryan Curtis, want to thank you two young men, and we'll get a chance to see you guys play here again, one sophomore and a junior next year. Wish you good well. Have a very happy, happy holidays to you guys. Thank you. We'll meet a few more of the Muhlenberg uh, football players when we return, but Erin, uh, what are you going to send us to break with? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. We will have a merry Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light from now on. Our troubles will be out of sight. yourself a merry little Christmas make the Yuletide gay from now on our troubles will be miles away here we golden days of your faithful friends who are dear to us gather near to us once more through the years we all will be together if the fates Kelly, once again, putting us all in that very festive holiday uh, mood. Coach uh, Millen, are you ready for the holidays now with all this? Not much time for Christmas shopping, is there? No, not at all. <laughs> um, my wife, uh, Kristen, handles all of that kind of stuff, and uh, I'm just lucky to get there. I, I, did, I did take part in chopping the tree down. We go, we go out to uh, uh, Christmas Tree Farm and, and chop down our own tree, and mm -hmm. uh, I was able to do that. Other than that, she handles everything. That's a big and part of it. That's, uh, no that's, not, that's not an easy <clears throat> task. Luke Wiley and Thomas uh, Murphy uh, joining us now. Guys, congratulations. Luke, how about you? You ready for the holidays? You're a Christmas guy? 
A little bit behind with finals, but a little bit I'll be getting home and doing all the shopping. How could you then. be behind anything? You're going to graduate from Muhlenberg College in three and a half years. You you can't be behind anything. That's why I'm behind. A lot of work to do before that. <laughs> what what prompted you to to try and get out in three and a half years? Um, I came in with uh, AP credits, and then like I kind of I did a bunch of summer researches too, which ended up counting as credits. And mm -hmm. then between that, I ran out of excuses to stay in college. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, I'm you're graduating, out. right? Yeah. So senior year, your football eligibility is up. Yeah. Mathematics uh, major, what do, you, what do you hope to do with your degree? I want to coach football. You uh, want to coach know, football? Huh? I get a lot of weird looks when I say I'm a math major and a <laughs> comp sci minor, but it's what I love to do. But you're big, in, but, but you're big on analytics. You actually yes. studied the, the going for it on fourth down. Mm -hmm. in the, can you share anything with us, or is this going to be kept in the Muhlenberg program? I can talk the math, but I, I don't know how much I can give away with it's it. It's proprietary <laughs> at this point. It, it helped us to be 11 and 2. So yeah, right, right. We, we have to keep him on staff in order for us to maintain this level yeah. of uh, excellence. Well, you're putting it to good use for sure. Thomas Murphy, or Murph, they call him. I'm going to call you Murph as well, too. Sophomore out of nearby Central Catholic High School. Congratulations. Yeah. Has to be really special for you to have such success at Muhlenberg, a local school. You're a local guy, and uh, it just has to be just uh, quite a year at 11 and 2. Yeah, thank you. It feels uh, so surreal to be on the show to begin with. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, that's a great to have you. Yeah. Well, Jim Wills says hello. Yeah, Your middle hello. school basketball coach, he says hi. <laughs> Those were the days. Good memories up at uh, Nishman Middle School. So, How'd you pick uh, uh, Muhlenberg? I know you're a dual mm. sport athlete. It gives you the opportunity to also participate in lacrosse. Yeah, so I grew up and uh, live in Bethlehem currently. And uh, Muhlenberg reached out to me uh, during the late year, senior year of uh, my years at uh, Central Catholic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really enjoyed... Uh, Coach Donnelly and Coach Millen coming to my school and reaching out to me, uh, preaching how well the football program we had, and especially the academics that go along with it, and that really uh, stuck out to me. Is there a, do you have, I mean, is it you like football more when you're playing football, or you like lacrosse more when you're playing yeah. lacrosse? Or which just, yeah, is, just, just like you said, I enjoy football during the season, football season, and then during lacrosse, I love lacrosse season. So Was there ever a thought of playing at maybe a higher level football-wise or, or, or lacrosse-wise, or just... You always knew you wanted to do both. Uh, it changed during my senior year. Uh, at one point, I wanted just to play football. And then when Muhlenberg reached out to me and said, uh, hey, you can play both sports, I uh, really enjoyed the opportunity to come and be able to be a dual sport athlete. And I know it's hard, but I uh, really enjoy the challenge and the community that surrounds Muhlenberg College. You had a terrific run in the postseason. You recorded a touchdown reception in two of the three games. Catch I want to talk to you about is the one you made at Moravian in your backyard. Is that where does that catch rank up? Yeah. The touchdown catch against Moravian. Uh, probably one of the, I think one of my top <laughs> catches of the season. That was a highlight season. reel, my friend. That yeah. was a, that I was... just uh, ran a post route, stepped on the uh, corner's toes, and then uh, obviously Mike Nikowski talked to him earlier. Yeah, threw me a rocket, and I just stuck my hand out, <laughs> and I was like, "Please, God, let me catch this ball." Coach. And, uh, caught the ball. Coach, that's just the way you drew it up, right? I didn't even know he caught it. I thought, <laughs> that was Mike, phenomenal. I thought Mike had overthrown the ball, mm -hmm. and I was looking down for my next third down call. And so when somebody yelled touchdown, I, I, I had no idea that he caught the football. It was awesome. You were injured uh, your freshman year. Yes. I mean, now you're a dual sport athlete as well, too. I mean, is there ever a thought to, you know, maybe not playing mm -hmm. one or the other? It cost you most of your uh, freshman year as a football player. Yeah, well, so last year I tore my MCL and I was out for, I got hurt the uh, Susquehanna game, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that was the third week of the season. And I thought to myself of like what Coach Donnelly used to say about how you got to dig in. And I contemplated a few times about it, is my body and my health going to be okay to keep playing? But I just continue to work hard in the gym, in the classroom, yeah. especially over the summer. I, I'm at Muhlenberg almost every day since, you know, like I said, I'm a local guy. Mm -hmm. And I think that really uh, helped me make the decision to keep on playing both sports. And yeah, those off-season workouts, boy, yeah. they certainly do pay dividends at the end of the – when it's all said and done. Luke, you are a Dean's List student, as I mentioned, the mathematics mm -hmm. Dean's List student. You will represent the program as their scholar-athlete when you uh, – First of all, talk about what attracted you to Muhlenberg College, and has it been what you had anticipated coming in? Um, my defensive coordinator in high school was actually a graduate. He was on the 2007 team, so like, he spoke very highly of the program, very highly of Who's that? Uh, Kyle Detweiler. Okay. He's now the head coach at Archbishop Carroll mm -hmm. down in Delaware County, and um, 
He spoke very highly of the program, talked about how Coach Donnelly loves his defensive backs. So <laughs> We all I, know I he does that. I couldn't not go to a program that loved the defensive backs. And once I got on campus, I became more familiar with it. It was kind of hard not to fall in love with it just because of such a high level of academics and equally high of football uh, play. So like, he was well, a defensive guy through and through. Are you a big Christmas guy? You like you like the holiday season? And if so, do you have a do you have a favorite movie? Elf. Elf, Elf is probably uh, yeah, my favorite yeah. movie. Murph, how about you? Favorite your, your, your Christmas shopping done number one? Yeah, uh, still got a few gifts to buy for the family, okay. especially with finals coming around. It's getting a little busy. But, you have an yeah. exam to take later today, yeah. right? We're taping this in the morning, right? Okay. Yeah, financial well, good accounting. luck to you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, What's Mr. it in? Uh, financial accounting. Okay, you're good yeah. in that class. Is it one of your strengths? Yeah, hi. Eh? Okay, yeah, so yeah that's, a, pretty that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, good luck to you. <laughs> so, you. Uh, Christmas shopping done, you holiday guy? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, mm -hmm. I'd probably agree with uh, Luke Wiley. I love the movie Elf. I mm -hmm. feel like it's been played throughout my childhood, mm -hmm. definitely. So, yeah. How about yourself? Yeah, I like the holiday season. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not big on – I don't catch a lot of movies this time of the year. I'm pretty busy <laughs> doing all of our uh, games that we do, but I love the holiday season. Coach, how about, how about for yourself? Uh, Grinch. The Grinch. The Grinch? Is, yeah, I mm -hmm. really enjoy – all the things that deal with the Grinch. Yeah, well, we had uh, a Christmas carol. We had the folks in uh, uh, from the um, uh, Civic Allentown Civic yep. Theater. They that's a must see the Christmas carol out in uh, Allentown's uh, West End. We were talking about that great community out there. I mean, all the Civic Center, the the, the fairground, and then of course Muhlenberg College is a big part of that West End Allentown as well. It's really nice for for us and uh, my family to be out there. It, it really mm -hmm. is. So many people around our same age, and there's always something. Uh, to do in the West End. It's really awesome. And I know we're running out of time, Coach, but I wanted to bring this up. This, uh, I mean, I don't think the, uh, our, our viewers understand that Muhlenberg football at one point beat Penn State 3 to nothing, and they also turned down, they were a, 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 a big-time football program. They turned down an invitation to, I believe it was then the Tangerine Bowl, yep. which is now the Orange Bowl. But you use that football against Penn State in your recruiting, don't you? Yeah, every week when we have prospects on our campus, uh, we bring out a lot of the history of Muhlenberg College football. Uh, we'll use it on our social media account mm -hmm. uh, as well. And uh, Penn State and Coach Franklin uh, haven't responded to us. He won't so answer your just, emails, I, huh? I know, it's weird. <laughs> he, it's like he's got something else to do. Um, and, and so, no, we always bring that out to showcase the, the 118 years of Muhlenberg College football. It's a big part of it. You think uh, – Scotty Wood Stadium would sell out if you hosted Penn State. We'd probably, <laughs> probably sell out a couple of seats there. We could take anything we want. Coach Millen, Thank congratulations. You so much. We you appreciate it, Great recognition Thank to the so Lehigh much. Valley, Allentown, the Centennial Conference. Guys, congratulations. We wish all you guys a very Merry Christmas and good luck with those exams later on. Huh? Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Muhlenberg Thank football, what a year. 11-2 and two Centennial Conference champs. Made it to the Elite Eight before bowing out to power uh, Mount Union. That was our topic this week. Aaron Kelly, uh, big plans for the holidays or spend with the family or spending time with the family and uh yeah uh pretty much it that's always awesome and it's fun. always great to see you thanks yeah. for coming in with you wish you a very merry christmas thanks you too next week on our show we have the man himself santa claus will be here well he'll be granting some of the wishes to some of the youngsters who'll be running around here certainly hope you enjoyed this week's show on behalf of all of us here at service electric cable television i'm mike zambelli enjoy aaron kelly one more time At the Christmas party hop Oh, mistletoe Where you can see Every couple tries to stop Rocking around the Christmas tree Let the Christmas spirit ring Oh, later we'll have some pumpkin pie And we'll do some caring Oh, you will get a sentimental feeling what you hear? Voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the walls with boughs of holly. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Oh, everyone's dancing, baby.